Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shraddha and I make videos on life in Germany. And in today's video, I'm shooting outside because sun was out for just two hours and so am I. And I'm near a very beautiful river called Trave in Lübeck city. And as you can see, people are enjoying and having fun. And it's a really beautiful day. So I thought, yeah, it would be really great if I shoot out and give you a little bit glimpse of the beautiful city Lübeck. So today's video is very important because uh, many of you had already uh, messaged me so many times and asked me to make the video of the challenges that I faced during first few months of arriving in Germany. Uh, it's the challenges that everyone faces is different because everyone's limitation, experience, level of German, everything is different. But yeah, still I would like to combine things and tell you the challenges that I faced and so that you can get to learn of course. And the first challenge that I have faced is at the airport but go to the toilet in the plane before it's like 45 minutes before it's landing it is really important so that when you are getting down from plane you follow the crowd and reach the immigration office and collect your luggage because sometimes we are the last one to get down and, or we use go to toilet or do some those of the things and then what happens is when you're lost and your first time coming you get panicked and there are automatic doors that will open only when you approach them when you're near them because they have sensors like that and I really got confused where which way to go then I went to my university and there I also visited canteen because I had uh, not really opened my stuff uh, for cooking and also I went to this canteen called Menza canteen here are called Menza and I went there and at that day I don't know they had really weird menu for vegetarian they had this uh, spinach soup anyway soup for Indian is kind of a not no no and it was spinach soup with egg on top and I was like oh my god I don't know I was hoping it would be really plain I put a lot of pepper beforehand but their pepper was also really tasteless because I had Indian taste on my tongue Indian food taste on my tongue and uh, I remembered the moment I took my first sip, for 10 seconds it was in my mouth. I could not, could not decide whether I should take it in or throw it out. It was so hard. I have never eaten anything like that. It was so plain and my tongue was used to, you know, Indian food and spices. So it was so plain for me. From very that day I decided I would never eat in Menza. I would take my food, lunch, pack my lunch everywhere whenever I have to go for afternoon class. But I would never waste my uh, money on this food that would also be a challenge to eat outside because you will be really not into the plain and you know less spicy food because that is for Indian it is a challenge the third challenge I had was accommodation finding accommodation please make sure that you book your accommodation well in advance because yesterday only I was talking to one of the student and he was saying that he had got the admit and now university has sent him where he can book the accommodation some student in their uh, apartment uh, website but the uh, this website of of course student in their um, apartments they are asking for 500 euros um, for pre-booking or something and if you don't book then uh, in the future then your 50 euros will be deducted and 450 will be sent back to you so he was asking ma'am what should I do should I take it or should I not waste my 50 euros and save them and I was like see you're not sure whether you will go here or not but if you have to go bear in mind in winter semester the accommodation is fully packed so if you go for private it would not be sure or safe with your money and second thing it will be very costly so just to save your 50 euros after some time if you really have to go to this apartment you will be the guy who will be saying so 200 so euro le le par accommodation de la de la. that this is the video for you who want to save 50 euros and then they will be ready to pay even 500 euros afterward so that was really funny and uh, we had a good laugh about it so 
yeah. please make sure that you book your accommodation and i'm not saying go for these scammy things or go for anything that you get and pay your money i'm not saying that i'm saying the trusted ones that university has recommended or they are student in their uh, apartments go for them the they fourth are. challenge that i faced was the language barrier as i told you i was just a1 level when i came here i had no knowledge of german and i could not understand what people are saying what they are talking about and all i could understand is danke schön bitte schön and schuldigung and these were the words that i really knew and i was familiar with and the other than that i could not understand and really not could not communicate with people so that was also a challenge It brings me to another story where i did not know how the bus system and uh, these tram systems are working and i took some time to understand the tram system the bus system the transportation system where i have to change where i have to take uh, the bus from where i have to get down which route i have to take okay this is my uh, stop name okay this is what this is this so that is also was kind of a challenge because when you come here it's you take some time to understand what is the system of a uh, um buses what is the system of the transport so it takes some time so challenge that i want to talk about is um remembering the name of the street so uh, when i came i went to some office to find accommodation because i was not sure whether i would get accommodation i was still in the waiting list so i went to uh, register myself with the agency so they asked me about my address where i was living and all i could remember was strasse and it was really embarrassing he was laughing because um, i could not remember the name which was like staffenburg strasse and it was really embarrassing and but he understood that okay it has been just two days and it's a lot to take in but it was embarrassing for me so remembering the name of the streets remembering the bus stops remembering the connections remembering where you have to get down which stop is the university stop or where to interchange the connections that is a another challenge and it takes some time it takes like 3 4 days to understand the challenge that was for me was the supermarket many of you have asked me how you can buy stuff in supermarket there is no hard and fast rule how you can buy stuff the thing is you go again and again because the supermarkets are so big like i had coflin near my apartment and it was so big so big that uh, it took like four or five times for us to explore the whole supermarket and get to know what where, where we can find oil where we can find suji where we can find chawal those things were really um, challenging but it was amazing because we were getting used to and converting the things in inr so that was also a really amazing experience finding things of our own and not taking much of the help but yeah learn the word wo is and ask them wo is that wo is that like where is this so people are really helpful they will help you even the sellers that they are there they will take you to that place where it is exactly placed so that's not a challenge you just have to ask for help and people trust me here are very helpful and i really cherish each and every moment so i just hate when someone says surviving in germany it's not surviving it's living in germany it's experiencing in germany because some people have made this so big that we all are thinking that it's a really big deal and it's a rocket science to be in germany and survive and how do you survive what are the techniques that one should know what are the things that one should know in order to survive in germany but according to me it's not survival it's about living in germany with some challenges but the people who call it uh, surviving and those things it really make no sense to me and it's really strange the challenge that i had was the climate today it is really beautiful but don't go with today's climate because it has been 15 days and i haven't seen sun today uh, i came here at 5 o'clock it is around 5 45 pm and now there i can see the sun so it was 15 days after sun has come out and i have realized that whenever sun is out i have to be out in lubeck especially because it's really rainy and cloudy here all the time so i have i'm getting used to it and yeah so the next challenge was the climate it was really cold and i was not 
I am really uncomfortable with cold weather. I had my jackets, I had my things, but it was still very cold for me. So I would suggest that uh, please, um, yeah, bring some of the light jackets, but buy your jackets here because they are really made for such weather. So that is uh, my advice. Number nine's challenge was the following the traffic rule and understanding the traffic rule was another challenge because in India we have this habit of driving on left side and here it's right side. So that was also challenging in first few days understanding where the cyclist lane is where you have to walk the pedestrian lane where you have to cross from when you have to cross so those are the things that i got really confused because trams are also coming and buses are also running on the road and you are cycling and yeah that was really a big challenge to walk on the right path so that you don't make other person angry so that was also a challenge and yeah crossing from always cross from zebra crossing because otherwise if you were caught by police you will have to pay the fine so make sure that you cross from zebra crossing and when the when the traffic light is green then only you have to cross otherwise you know please don't do that the tenth challenge was really interesting it was socializing like um, when you come here we all have this thinking of making many many german friends and in my class there were not many germans there were but not many and they were all together always we also used to be a little bit you know uh, cautious that whether we should approach them or talk to them and they were also a little bit uh, yeah are very much you know not used to talking to strangers so that was also kind of a challenging to socialize with germans make german friends but i was lucky that i had my german flatmate one was italian one which german so I had this exposure of international uh, things so I would suggest that please go for vege or these kind of um, apartments where you get to live with other students uh, please avoid living in studio apartment of your own that would never uh, help you with anything because when you are new you need to know the things you need to know where is what and where one can find what and you need some advices from the person who has already been living there for a long time and they can help you and guide you so for guidance also please make sure that you live in vacay and if possible try to mingle with germans as much as you can vacay is the best place where you can meet and make friends with germans and they have friends also who are coming to your house for house party or something so that is the best way you can integrate in their culture get to know each other and um, yeah learn German practice your German so that is the best way you can do I hope this video will be helpful for you in understanding the challenges that you will be facing in first few months of coming here in Germany and I would say all the best and I hope to see you here in Germany and please don't get scared it's not the rocket science it's easy it's easy I have done it people have done it and even before these channels many people have come to Germany to study it's not that of a big thing it's just living in Germany and experiencing the culture and language and the beauty of your own so yeah this was it from my side i will see you in the next video till then bye